live with Alabama Huntsville Hockey, uh, Josh Latta post game. Josh, yeah, you had a three point weekend. Um, you're one of the big reasons why this game is closer than the 11,000 people in the building thought it would be either night. Can you kind of talk about your weekend and how you felt you were able to kind of keep the team in it? Uh, well, I think it was our whole line, like Reggie and Christian Rajic and Austin Bolio. They're great guys to play with. They go to open ice really well, support the puck. They put up a lot of energy. So it makes my job easy, and uh, I just thought we played fast, uh, played hard, played intense, and uh, we capitalized on our chances that we got for the most part, and honestly, probably could have a few more, so. What's the biggest takeaway you guys got from this weekend, the positive, that, hey, we're on the right track here with this, and what's the biggest thing that you kind of saw this weekend, that, hey, this is where we still need to kind of work at, get a little bit better for Bemidji State this week? Yeah, so that's like the number one team in the country right now, and I think that just shows that we can compete with really anyone. Um, North Dakota is like the pinnacle of most programs, that something you want to strive towards. And uh, so playing against Bemidji, we got to play the exact same way with the same intensity, play fast, uh, because they play really fast. They don't give you a second. If you let your guard down for just a minute, uh, they're going to capitalize on you. And we saw that in a couple instances especially uh, late in uh, yesterday's game. They took advantage of us being a little bit sloppy. How tough is it uh, for you to score in practice on Mark Sinclair <laughs> and, some of your, and some of your other goalies? <laughs> oh, no, I have Sink's number. But uh, Georgie, <laughs> McVay's uh, the one I got to worry about. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, how big was it for you guys as forwards? UND is the top base off and one of the top base off teams in the country both nights. Last night you guys won 30 of 63, and tonight I'm pretty sure you guys won or about even in the draw. How big was it to stay with them in that, and what are some things you guys did to make it make their life tough this weekend? Um, I didn't actually really think about it too, too much. Coming into the weekend, I was more concerned with the other parts of the game. Obviously, we had uh, our play full, uh, but... I just kind of tried to stick to what makes me successful in the circle and not worry too much about them and try to get their guys trying to adapt to what I'm doing. Um, so, and I don't mind being uh, the away team unless we're in the O zone having to put my stick down first. So uh, I just kind of tried to worry about myself and made, make them make adjustments. And I think uh, I did a pretty good job. And also Ray Jack, my winger, takes a lot of draws in the offside and uh, he's pretty excellent at it. How do you guys uh, clean up your penalties? You guys took a lot of penalties oh. this weekend. How do you guys clean those up so you don't leave your goalie out to dry? Yeah, that was going to be a key going into the weekend that we stayed out of the penalty box. and. We didn't do a very good job of it. Our penalty kill was excellent, especially yesterday with the uh, high pressure. Yes. They pressured really well. and But obviously, Mark is always our best penalty killer. He makes some huge saves for us. We just need to keep our feet moving. I think there's a couple calls that, well, especially in the first game, we had a sloppy line change. Uh, that just can't happen. Uh, and I think we just need to, keep, yeah, like I said, we need to keep our feet moving a little bit better with these guys not uh, – take any hooking calls, no retaliation. When we when guys are in vulnerable spots, we gotta be smart and uh, lay off a bit. Uh, but that being said, I thought uh, Jeffers had a good hit and just kinda got unlucky with uh, that penalty. But anyways, can't change it. Yeah. Um, What's your favorite part about the Alabama Huntsville program? I love the guys, obviously. I think a lot of people would tell you um, that like, about their program, but that's honestly my favorite part, coming to the rink every day. We just have a really close set of guys, especially uh, my freshman class in my room. Uh, we have so much fun together, and uh, I love uh, my line mates as well. They're just great guys, and they've done a great job kind of showing me how college hockey works. College hockey fans don't, uh, don't talk about Huntsville too much. Um, what's one thing that you would li love college hockey fans at large to kind of know about Huntsville, the town, playing game, coming to see the VBC, all those, like, if you could give a college hockey fan one reason to watch Huntsville this Thursday, what would it be? Uh, I'd say just tune in because like we we work hard and we could surprise you could surprise uh, a good team like we we did against Northern earlier in the year. Uh, we can capitalize on chances, but uh, we play a pretty high tempo pace. And uh, Mark's always fun to watch in the net because you're guaranteed to have a couple. He's gonna have a couple highlight reel saves uh, every night because we get a little sloppy on D sometimes. Uh, but uh, we also can make things happen offensively, especially off the rush. We're pretty good. And what's your favorite thing in Huntsville away from the ice to do? Oh, um, Top golf's pretty cool. The boys hang out there a little bit, and uh, I don't know, just going out with the boys for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect.